All right, guys, so we're here at a, a potential flip. Um, it's gonna be a walkthrough for uh, YouTube purposes. So, hey, what's up, everybody on YouTube? What's up, everybody uh, hanging out on the internet? I'm gonna take this video uh, with my face on it, so I'm just gonna be pointing at stuff behind me. And it's my first time doing this, so, you know, be patient with me. So, right here, I'm standing in the backyard. Um, it's Vegas, so it's bright out here. Probably if I, better if I hold it like this. Um, huge backyard. It's pretty empty though. There is nothing back here. Uh, let's take a look. Sorry, there's gonna be some terrible lighting back here, but it is what it is. Got some trees. Uh, I do see some damage to the roof and to the sidewall right here. You can barely see it, but that wall is cracked. And that roof is done. Let me see if I can get on top of this. <clears throat> so I get most of my deals sent to me by by wholesalers. Okay, I should be careful on here. One second. Okay. I get most of my deals sent to me by wholesalers, so that's the roof. We're gonna go inside so you'll see that there's plenty of holes all over the roof so the roof completely needs to be replaced. There's the AC unit. It looks in pretty good condition actually. Uh, but yeah, the roof is ancient and there's holes all over it. Uh, I'm standing on top of a dryer and I'm holding onto the shed and then there's a I think like a phone line next to me right here. Kind of scary. That's the power line right there. So boom. Let's not touch that. Okay, let's go inside. So normally I don't go on the field. Usually I stay in the office. I'm an office dude. Let's go in here. It's pretty stinky in his house. Dusty, really dusty. Just an abandoned shed. This is like a really nice... Um, Slider here with the doggy door. I like that. Um, I also like this like uh, covered area. Um, it looks like a beam is coming out of the house. It extends and then it's supposed to be covered. And it, this would be really nice uncovered also. It's just like a really nice feature, like wood feature. I feel like a grill set would be really nice right here on the side. Like a good little like hangout area, maybe like a mesh to go instead of this plywood, like a mesh, or even just like nothing, probably a mesh. Something though, I, I I like it. I mean, it definitely needs a little bit of work, but it's okay. Um, the house is at a little bit of like a dis level, so you kind of see like you probably can't see it, but the the concrete kind of just like curves up and down it has like little loops there's water on the ground so i'm assuming oh that's because that drain there is backed up Damn, this is like this is not really working out you can't even see the drain anyways this is a drain there's a ton of water on the floor from the drain this is where i came in here okay hopefully the lighting is a little bit better inside Lock that up. So this is uh, just some of the belongings, some oxygen tanks. As you guys can see, the ceilings are all patched up. Here, here, and here, they put like this, um, I don't know what this beam is doing here. It's holding something up. And then, uh, yeah, all that drywall fell out. Um, I'm not sure what it's, why they put that up, but maybe just so it won't look bad. But that's what it looks like, the insulation's down there. I'm guessing this used to be the carport because there's the entrance this way to the house and also entrance this way to the house. So nine times out of 10, this was like a two car garage that converted into a um, just a li living space. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> and that's that step. So watch that step. Uh, this is the kitchen here. Pretty, it's like a galley kitchen because it's uh, you know one on each side. Pretty sure that's what it's called, galley kitchen. Water heaters in there. Oh, I noticed that like in this water heater area, 
you can uh, see the sky. Okay. You can see the sky in there. There's the washing machine. There, this is the old school, super old range with like the analog clock. Can't even see that. Analog buttons. Super old. Looks kind of cool, but I mean, I don't, I don't know if this works or not. <clears throat> I'm just going to leave it alone. But yeah, the floor is all jacked up. Like, for example, here, this concrete is lifting up in this area. There's a ball. So I don't know what's going on here, but this needs to be re-poured. Re just this section. Nothing too crazy. But, um... In here, it just smells like smoke. You could tell there was a smoker living in here. Um, not a big deal. Once you paint the walls, you can't even smell that anymore. But as you can see, this is like the living room. Some more uh, plastic. Just coming into like the living areas, like the bathroom. This is the bathroom. More destroyed uh, ceilings. Here we have the vanity. Super old, cracked, looks freaking haunted. Here's the toilet. Um, backed up, this is backed up. Most likely this um, this bathroom has a collapsed um, drain system. You can tell because it looks like there's dirt. Whenever there's dirt, uh, that means that it's coming from underground. There's just another room. Same thing, busted uh, up there. Here's the closet, pretty standard. Uh, last one here. This is the master, you can tell because it has the bathroom. So, has no door to the bathroom. It's kind of just like a walk-in area, which I think it deserves a door. Bathrooms deserve doors. So I definitely put like some kind of door somewhere there to make it look a little better, close it off. Has a walk-in, not a walk-in closet, but a closet. And there's the last bedroom here. Gets a little bit better sunlight, but yeah, it still has this. So you can see kind of all that damaged um, drywall. So definitely major roof issues. Um, there's some smoke issues. Uh, what else? All for the kitchen. I mean, I would try to see if I can knock this wall down. This wall, right there. Oh yeah, that'd make it look great. And honestly, I would probably, I would probably plug that door too. I mean, this door, there's pointless having two doors, especially one, unless you're gonna convert this back into like a garage. There's no point in having a door there. So I'd cover this, I'd round this out, and I'd, and I'd make the kitchen go like this. So I make it hug around this corner. And then I most likely would knock down this wall. Oh, lost my shoe. But uh, yeah, I'm running out of time here. So I'm gonna show you guys the front and then I, I'll just call it call it a day. So once again, this is a 4-2. Not sure how many square feet this is, but here's some more tile issues. Tile's popping off. So we definitely have some, uh, yep. Maybe expansive soil something but this has to be reported um you know and kind of flattened out but i like these double doors these double doors here i love uh double doors but i'm sure you guys are fine and this this uh this house has got really nice curb appeal let's see yeah so it has like this cool rock that would probably paint white probably paint the house gray has a carport but uh yeah just trying to show you guys a little bit into uh, a vlog into my life and um appreciate you guys watching um like follow share the videos i'm trying to you know expand uh, the people that i'm reaching on social media and stuff so appreciate you guys watching and um i'm gonna try to improve my speaking skills <laughs> and maybe my video quality and all that stuff so just keep a lookout for future videos, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a good one.